Okay. Right. So your underlying energy is the Ten of Cups. Okay. So this is talking about an emotional cycle and coming to an end. This also talks about happily ever after. Um, you think you know the happily ever after family. There's a lot of card. There's a lot of things that can come up with this card, but this is like tying things up right in an emotional way sometimes it's a good thing right sometimes it feels good sometimes it doesn't feel that great but it is the ending of a cycle of some sort now the thing is it could be that this is a happily ever after right let's see what's underneath here the hangman perhaps this is a new perspective on what happily ever after looks like you know that you know that end game you know the ending of something that can you know that feels really good now I like this as your current state of being because you do have the um, you do have the um, Empress here. The Empress does indicate in this reading um, creativity, abundance, uh, comfort. One thing it could potentially be talk about a domestic situation, but I really feel like this is just this feeling of you know of creating something, manifesting. There is this like hardcore manifestation energy, and I like that here. Now, what you're kind of um, this also could talk about taking care of somebody. You do have two cards in here that do kind of raise my eyes a little bit. I open my eyes a little bit. Um, but luckily, like, I don't see any devil energy or anything else. So I'm not going to go the whole codependent route because there is no indication of that here. So um, for some of you, it may be mild. For some of you, that's like this coming up for you guys some, somewhat. But I, for the majority of you guys, um, I'm not getting that. Sorry, guys. My nose is running. Um, coming down. I don't know if I'm coming down with anything, um, but I am like, I feel like I just like suffering from allergies. But anyway, now your current, no, your current um, the state of being, but your um, your desired outcome is the Seven of Swords, and I feel like you guys just want to go out and take a risk and go out and do it, make it happen. Just just take what you want, right? It may be uncomfortable for a second, but you just kind of want to like rip the bandage off. If that makes sense, or rip off the tape that's stuck on some. Like, like hair on your body or something like you know it's gonna hurt but you want to do it fast and get it over with and I feel like you guys just want to step outside of your comfort zone and do something interesting do something different do something exciting and I think that's why the Queen of Wands came up right if something was not satisfying you're ready to go and take a risk and go on an adventure do something that's exciting but the thing that's keeping you guys from going ahead and doing all that is the Page of Swords now the the the, uh, the page of swords being in um in the blockage energy could indicate that there's not a lot of communication. There's not a lot of you know conversations there. Maybe there's a little bit more insight that needs to be gained here. Um, at the same time, it could be that there is just some sneaky sort of energy because the seven of swords and then the page of swords are both very sneaky. They can be anyway. And luckily, I don't see any other cards that indicate sneaky behavior. I feel like there's just a lack of communication, a lack of, you know, conversation. Like, I think there's, like, a dream or something that you guys may want to go after, but there's not a lot of communication about it. Like, there's not a lot of people that talk to, you know, that have said it. And I feel like maybe there is something that needs to be said regarding this this desire to, you know, manifest. But the thing that's keeping somebody here is perhaps someone's committed to this. Somebody, you know, it's, it's a commitment. Perhaps it's like, it's a change of plans and it's like, you have to tell the person that you're committed to this news and you don't really know what to do about that. You don't know if you want to do all that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What could be here too is that there is this realistic, um, maybe you had a, you were very grounded and you were seeing things from a very realistic view. Right? It, very pr it could have been that somebody was very practical or somebody's looking at the situation very practically but I feel like there's just this communication here that needs to come up right yes it, you may be committed to somewhere or someone may be committed to you but if this is it, like you got the like if it, you had the eight of cups come up with the, the queen of wands if what you're creating has nothing it isn't really surrounded by surrounded by support or people that want to help you build it and if, you, if you're not getting the satisfaction that you're looking for in your current situation then it will require and you know why not do something different why not go ahead and just make it happen well your best path to follow here is the nine of swords okay so that is very interesting um the Nine of Swords here 
does indicate that there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of, oh, it's not even, I'm sorry. It's not the ten, it's not the nine of swords. It's the ten of swords. Let's talk about ending something. I always get the nine of swords and the ten of swords a little bit confused. Even though this is the only, you know, you know, as far out of the, all of the swords cards, they have like, you know, they don't have any red. Like the nine of, nine of swords doesn't have any red. It's like looking up into the sky and, and it's very similar to the nine of swords in a, in a way. But I don't know why I thought this was the nine of swords. This is the ten of swords. And it's talking about ending something. Just going and just cutting it. You've been committed to this thing for quite some time, but it, it's clearly not really what you need to do. It's not, clearly not really what you want. Now, the thing is, it may not mean cut the situation, right? It just means that it just end it. You just, com just speak your truth and have it out, right? And just, you know, the relationship doesn't, have, doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to crumble due to something that you want to create, unless it's something that, it's, it's, it's something outside this relationship, something that you can't do in a, in a, in a relationship or in a connection. Perhaps that's what it is, right? There's just like, you're committed to this person, but your happily ever after has changed, it looks like. What's underneath here again? The hangman. Yeah, change of perspective. You've got a new idea of what the Ten of Cups is for you. So, you like, you want a happily ever after, but I don't know if it's with this individual anymore. You feel creative. You want to go out there and take a risk. At the same time, you're attached to someone. And it looks like Ten of Swords is saying it's time to just end it. End the situation. Not to say break. And I don't know if it's breaking up, but I get this feeling that it's talking about really stopping the flow of something that isn't really resonating with who you are just let the you know communicate that let it out because here you have in your in your feelings the eight of wands so it talks about progress it talks about movement okay um it could be that it could be that there is this feeling of make of you know of wanting to make something happen move something forward Right, I feel like you have changed and you've you know made progress, so that's in a way coming up as you know you make your progress, right? You could also be feeling like, you know, you feeling like you are making ground on you know your in, your spiritual and internal development. You feel like you're moving very fast. As a matter of fact, it could be that the situation may be moving very fast altogether. Like maybe you need to just like. Maybe the situation is like, look, I like you, but you're just, you're moving in a little too soon. Like, I need some time. But perhaps it's, you could be feeling very overwhelmed right now, as a matter of fact. Because taking that risk and towards, so, you know, with in regards to this Queen of Pentacles, you know, it's, this person is committed to you. It's It will probably be overwhelming, the fact that you have to communicate with them, or you need to, right? Your hopes and fears is the two of swords. You want to make the best decision. And honestly, you want to make it as painless as possible. That's why I get with this two of swords. And it's hard to do, especially when it comes to the page swords, right? Sometimes the things that you need to say, it just needs to be said the way it is, right? Of course, there's other ways to say things. You want to be very cautious about that, right? But at the same time, you don't want to hold them. You don't want to keep this up forever. I don't think you do. I think you want things to just happen, like rip it off like a bandage. I don't think you want to want to just keep the balance all the time and kind of a smile it off because it's not really who you are, right? You're not you you know you just you this doesn't resonate anymore. It's like it's time for some change. Time to really get to go towards what you really want. And I feel like you can, and I feel like you will here with the nine of cups. Nine of Cups is your wish, is the wish card, right? It's, it's the best card out of the tarot deck, in my opinion. It talks about content. Finally, you know, being happy with what you, where you are and, you know, where you're going. And I really feel like Pisces. It may not mean break up, right? It may just be like, hey, I can't go in the flow of this situation anymore. We, just, we gotta do something different. You know? Maybe that's that could be it, right? You don't necessarily have to break up. But at the same time, if this is something that you believe you have to break up for, right? You, only you can know when this, if this is a breakup or not. Only you know if this is time to completely end that cycle and go with something else and try something else. Because in the past, you had a lot of stagnancy 
and it was because you needed a new perspective and now it's looking like there's some some stuff that needs to just kind of it needs to end for sure at least for you okay let's take a look see wow have patience it says love is patient and kind always yeah i would say not to make any moves until after um mars goes direct okay once mars goes direct then go crazy right but the thing is like you don't want to run a break up or do anything like that do, you know do anything like that um before Mars goes direct, you know, because, you know, you don't want, you know, so some of happens, you know, usually when something like, usually it doesn't last for a very long time when things start in a, during a retrograde. Um, same with Venus retrograde. Be careful when you do anything during a, a Venus retrograde because they have the potential to restart itself as well. Okay. Um, same with Mars retrograde, Mercury retrograde, but the Mercury retrograde ends before Mars does. Okay, so you don't have to worry about the like. What about Mars retrograde? Don't. Uh, what about Mercury? Don't worry about Mercury. Mercury, just really worry about Mars because at the end of when Mars goes, you know, direct, um, Mercury would have already gone direct by then. All right, let's see what's going on with your romance angels. Oh, this is not. Coming. Children, wow, your love life is affected by children. Perhaps you guys are the reason why you guys want to kind of split from this relationship is perhaps you guys want to have children. I never thought about that. The thing that's keeping you from being able to go off and have a child is potential oh, go off and do something new is because you perhaps you know this relationship that you're in doesn't permit children like maybe you guys want to be a be a mother or be a father and the person that you're with is not really wanting to have kids mm. for some of you guys it could be that there's projects and things like that too maybe there's no children at all involved and there's just some things that are that you want to start like some projects you want to begin and it's like there's no room for it there's no space in your relationship for it 